Hello, as a way of updating your video pages, making them a little easier for you to add new ones in, I've made a page called Terry's New Page, and when you go to it, it'll look differently from your normal page. That's because I'm using a page builder for it instead of the normal editor. If you were to add a new page, normally you'll start here with visual or text, but you can switch to page builder, and now you'll get the same section that we're working with here. I've already added some content, that's why it looks a little different. So first thing we need to do is this is a row, it's a row of content, and each one of these are different rows. Now this row has just one column in it, but these ones have two columns, so you can put something on the left and on the right. I've already got some videos and the links up top, so we need to add video number four, because this is one, two, three, you're going to have a whole lot more videos. So first you have to add a row of content, and if you want two columns, leave it as is, or you can change this to be one or three or however many columns you want. Then hit insert, and you'll see down here at the bottom, there's now two blank column areas. So click in one of them, and then do add widget. This is how to add content to that box and you want to use Visual Editor. Edit that Visual Editor, and you'll get uh, what you're normally used to looking at. So on the left side, we want to insert a YouTube video. It's going to say, what video do you want to use? So if I just go over to your current video page, click Share, I can copy that. Alright, so it's got a video in it. I'm going to hit Done for now, go over to the right side, add another widget, another visual editor, and this time it's going to be the words that appears. So edit this, and I put in the text. Now I also want to put in the title. So right here, paste. Now if I do preview, this page will have four videos. So we've got links, video one, two, three, and four. Now to work on these links so that when you click them it goes automatically to that video, that's an anchor link. To get that to work, you'll want to go to your editor. Now the first two already have these links, so you can simply edit those you will get what you're looking for. And what you're looking for is this code right here. Now you want to make sure you're on text, because if you're on visual, you'll just see this little anchor. So go to text, and I'll let you copy this code. It says a name equals quotes. And then whatever you put in quotes is going to be the name of this section that you're jumping to. So since this is the first video, I just named it vid1. You want to copy this code, everything just before the CAD YouTube link. Go down to video number four, switch to text, and paste in at the very beginning. Now this can't be called video one, because there's already a video one. So we need to do vid four. All right, so I've got vid four linked to here. Now we need to edit the text that's at the top of the page to actually click on it so we can go to vid4. So edit the very first one, highlight the link that you want people to click on, click this insert edit link button, where it says URL, it's simply pound, and then whatever you gave it the name of. So since I named it vid4, I'm just going to make it vid4. Add text, now it's all blue. So if I preview this one again, now number four is clickable, and if I click it, it takes me right to the number four video. So when you want to add more videos to the rest of the page, first you add row, has two columns, Scroll to the bottom, click so it's dark, add a widget, make it visual, 
edit, insert the YouTube link, go to the second box, add widget, editor, add the text, then you'll go up to one of the videos that already has the link in it, so you can copy that code again, then edit your new one, paste the code in, in text area, change the name from vid1 to vid5 or whatever vid you're on, go back to the top, highlight where you're linking, hit the link button, and then pound and whatever you named it, so probably vid5 for the next one. Then the add link button, and you are good to go. Now I'm only going to save this as a draft so that uh, it's not actually on your site, but you can still see it if you want to come back in and start editing this with the real videos.